Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to make uh, potions. Some people have been getting a bit confused with them, and we'll. Well, I think we should tell you how to do them. So, without further ado, let's do this. Uh, you will need some glass. Don't worry, this works on Xbox as well, not just PC. Uh, and you'll need glass bottles, which is um, just like a bucket, just with glass. Like that. And it makes glass bottles. And now you fill those glass bottles with water. And to hold water, you can make a cauldron, just a seven iron in a big U shape. Makes a cauldron. Now I'll place the cauldrons like this. Uh, notice how they're not actually filled with water yet. that in there because you will need a water bucket to fill them like this like that right now that you've got your cauldron set up you'll need the most important thing uh, a brewing stand and you make this by Placing three cobblestone, and in the middle a blaze rod, which you get from nether fortresses in the nether, like that. And then you also need some ingredients. Now we have a lot of ingredients here, and of course you need water bottles. Oh, chucking in my stuff everywhere. And now uh, they won't be textured like this. That's sugar, a uh, gunpowder, redstone, a spider eye, a fermented spider eye, which you make by using a spider eye, putting sugar and mushroom like that. But you won't need to uh, know where they go if you're on Xbox, so I won't worry about that, just get the ingredients. And then, once you've got all these, it can be confusing. So, we'll just break it down. So put your water bottles into the bottom part of the brewing stand. And now, I found this little picture this picture of uh, how to do potions. Now, this is extremely helpful in uh, wanting to make potions effectively. First, you start off with the water bottle, and most potions start with awkward potion, which has no effect whatsoever, and that requires nether wart. Now, this nether wart is found in the nether, found in nether fortresses. Now, we'll place that in there and make some awkward potion. And now, the next type of potion is a mu mudane or mudane potion. Something along those lines. Uh, yeah, Mudane Potion, which is redstone, just adding redstone to it, so we'll do that in this one, we'll add our redstone, and then we'll do one more here, by adding glowstone, and I think that makes a thick potion. Now that we've got our awkward potion, we can start adding stuff to it. As you can see, it has no effect. Drink it. 
it has no effects on me at all. So it's kind of useless. But a new Dane potion. I'm gonna have to spawn some more of these in. Oh, there we go. Right. Your Dame Potion can hold most things. Here, if you follow this line here, start with the water bottle, nether wart, awkward potion. And now to an awkward potion you can add blaze powder, magma cream, fermented spider eye, spider eye, glistering melon gas tier sugar now the blaze powder magma cream gas tier are found in the nether along with glowstone um, redstone found underground spider eye kill spiders glistering melon I believe it's a melon and gold and magma cream from those magma cubes. Um, I'll get to the awkward in a minute. But now, if you follow the glowstone path to a thick potion, basically, that's just adding a fermented spider eye to make potion of weakness. So that is pretty much useless because if you follow here and add a fermented spider eye from the beginning. It makes a potion of weakness. Exactly same effects, 1 minute 30, 1 minute 30. Same with the new Dame potion, except when it adds fermented spider eye, it does potion of weakness for 4 minutes. Now, I'm not sure if this will affect it once you make a splash potion. A splash potion is um, a normal potion, so like this um, let's add a gas tier to it now while we wait for that uh, I'll tell you about splash potions now splash potions uh, make potions throwable now find one here splash potion of swiftness as you can see with these potions, in a moment, there we go, oh, as you can see with this potion here, uh, I drink it, I drink it and it gives me my thing, but with splash potions you throw them, so it helps other people as well, so that could be useful for a variety of things. So, remember gunpowder makes splash potion. Now, if you go back here, redstone, glowstone, and fermented spider eye all make potion of weakness. Uh, you add Fermented spider eye to glowstone and redstone, and it'll make potion of weakness. Uh, redstone being the best. I hope you can understand this. <laughs> right, well now we'll move on to the awkward potion properly. Now, add a blaze powder to it, and it makes potion of strength. That makes you stronger. Obviously, strength. But then. If you follow this line, you can add more stuff to it. Redstone makes it stronger on all potions. Redstone is like strengthening the potion. Glowstone takes the time down, but strengthens it. Like make Glowstone makes it powerful, more powerful. Redstone increases the time limit. And fermented spider eye downgrades it completely so it goes from a potion of strength to potion of weakness so we'll get some of those going 
Then where am I? Here I am. We'll get some of those going. So, blaze powder. And I'll show you all the effects of it. Right, we don't need that anymore. But this is getting a bit confusing. So, we'll splash all those in there. Like this. And then get back to this. Right. Oh, oh sleeping potion. That's why. Where's all my awkward potions? Give me a second, guys. Awkward is an awkward word to spell. Spawn loads of these. Right. Now, if we place them in, it should work. I'm not going to do these with all the potions. I'm just going to do these with a couple because I'll leave this list up for a couple of minutes at the end so you can help see it or you can search it on Google just search um, potions minecraft and it will bring this up so blaze powder makes strength uh, awkward potion and magma cream make fire resistance we'll add redstone to it it makes fire resistance for 8 minutes as magma cream on its own makes 3 minutes now if you add fermented spider eye it makes a potion of slowness which makes you run slow but then if you add redstone to that potion of slowness it makes potion of slowness for 4 minutes so it will increase the slowness of their speed now awkward potion and fermented spider eye will make a potion of weakness. Uh, awkward potion plus spider eye makes potion of poison. But then add a glowstone to that potion of poison. It makes potion of poison 2 last for 22 seconds. Add a fermented spider eye, potion of harming, instant damage. Now instant damage, if I'm correct. should instant not sure if this will kill you or not there we go right, let's test it oh yep yeah, it takes three hearts off you but then, if it's a instant damage, um, if it's a splash potion of harming, instant damage or damage two, this uh, splash potion instant damage only does two, because when it makes a splash potion, it downgrains it. But add a glowstone to the. Uh, potion of harming and then uh, gunpowder it does three and a half as opposed to a normal drinking potion which does three however I don't know why you'd want to harm yourself at all so yes add spider eye po potion of poison Glowstone, Potion of Poison 2, Fermented Spider Eye, Instant Damage, Add Glowstone, Instant Damage 2, Add Redstone, Makes a poison po po Poisonous Potion last for 2 minutes if you drink it, Add Gunpowder, that time will go down. Now, Awkward Potion plus Glistering Melon makes a uh, Potion of Healing, Instant Health. That's for healing yourself, let's say you're on one heart, it will heal you to, I don't know, five hearts maybe? If you drink it, three. Uh, add glowstone, potion of healing, two. 
basically boosts your health again. Awkward potion plus gas tier uh, makes potion of regeneration, which I believe regenerates everything, including your hunger bar. Add glowstone, potion of regeneration 2, regenerates more hunger bar. Uh, add sugar, it makes a potion of swiftness. Now, this makes you run faster. Uh, add glowstone, makes speed 2, lasts for 1 minute 30. Makes you run quicker for less time. Add a redstone, you can run quicker for 8 minutes. Uh, add fermented spider eye, makes a potion of slowness. Now, I hope I've been helpful to you. If not, shame on me. But now I'll show you the potion of strength. Now, we've drank the potion of strength. And if I get a cow, just want some cows in. One, two, three. It takes three punches with the strength, which will last for two minutes forty. So, that's helping you. But with a sword, with a wood sword, oh my god, wooden, with a wooden sword, it takes, I think it usually takes three to four, now it takes one, two, it takes two. <laughs> Excuse me. One. Took one with that. I think I hit that one before. Let's test it on some sheep. One. Two. So basically, potion of strength will help your attacking abilities quite a lot. Right. And that should be it. Just remember, you can add gunpowder wherever it is. If you add gunpowder to the potions, it makes it into a splash potion, which is throwable. Now, I'll put I'll put the list up for you at the end, so you can pause the video and look at the list. I hope. This has been helpful because I I didn't really know a lot about potions until I explored them. So I hope this has been a help to you guys. Uh, the next tutorial, hopefully that will be helpful to you as well. We haven't really decided on what it will be. But we'll start bringing out more and more tutorials for you so you can learn good knowledge. So, if it was helped you, uh, keep on spamming that subscribe button. Yeah, once we hit 150, I think we'll be going on a special world made by Ryan Usher, uh, KBDX Rapids, Bailey, KBDX Zombies. Uh, I helped a little, not not a lot, but a little, uh, but. Uh, KBDX Rapids and KBDX Zombies they've been working on this for quite a while and I have to say I don't know what that was but I have to say it is extremely impressive what they've done so join us then at 150 subs for a very fun time and until next time guys goodbye